What's up, fellow Clashers? It's Apollyon here, bringing you the latest Clan War ending from uh, WHF2 versus Clash of Clan Blockers. And this was not an arranged war, but we were pretty outmatched as far as Town Hall 11, 10 levels. So a uh, very, very nice victory for WHF2. Um, uh, the, the Clash of Clan Blockers are from the United States. And they had uh, three Town Hall 11s, uh, two of them that had Eagle Artilleries, and uh, six Town Hall 10s versus our one Town Hall 11 and our six Town Hall 10s. So a little bit mismatched um, for, for uh, us. You know, you know we, did, we, had, we were the underdog here. Uh, on the flip side, they did have, I think, six or eight Town Hall 8s where we had zero Town Hall 8s. So kind of balanced it, it's, itself up and that's one of the reasons why they lost uh d give them shout out and props i mean it was a fun war and we definitely were on our guard for it because of the mismatch just to show you what uh, they did to us i mean we'll show you they they took care of our top guys pretty easily i mean that's what happens when you have three town hall 11s uh to be able to hit down and they had a town hall 27 that was basically built for offensive t attacking which I'll show you as well. So, um, you know, that just to show, they, they three-starred most of our Town Hall 10s and uh, two-starred the rest of them as well as two-starring the Town Hall 11. Got a lot of our top Town Hall 9s because they dipped down from their Town Hall 10s to get them. And then they struggled in the mid where their Town Hall 9s had to hit them. Uh, they were struggling here. You could see our mid Town Hall 9s and our lower Town Hall 9s. A lot of them were two-starred and had a tough time getting that because they just couldn't get it done with their mid Town Hall 9s without dipping down. And their Town Hall 8s obviously could not uh, uh, get the three stars. So uh, it was a lot of fun. Again, shout out to them. Let's jump into some of these attacks. And we're going to go ahead and start with uh, one of their 9.5s, which I, I call it a Town Hall 10, but one of their 9.5s. We had a couple 9.5s too, so it, it, it was the same uh, as far as our Town Hall 10s to their Town Hall 10s. So we've got uh, RL jumping up from number 14, and RL is a Town Hall 9 hitting this eight, uh, 9.5 here with a very nice attack. Queen walk, queen charge, go va ho. So there we go, dropping that queen down there, starting the funneling with the minions on the bottom, and I think he's going to throw a minion up top as soon as the uh, archer tower gets aggro on that queen, and uh, he'll start doing that stuff. This is pretty cool uh, to watch. There we go, the expo's on it, uh, everybody's on the queen, and the, the wall breakers can go in to start getting that uh, compartment open. Drops a rage because he's got tons of point defenses on him, two expos and that archer tower. Minion is kind of funneling, but it's not uh, good enough. But he's going to go ahead and start. He's funneled down below with the minions. It starts for the second phase, dropping that golem in there to start the um, getting into the eight, the queen and king compartment. That queen's still doing her thing, walking around the base. Uh, now we'll move back into that compartment and start walking its way in towards the core. Drops the golem, drops the king up there, drops the poison, and drops the jump. The clan castle is now getting split. And uh, Queen's taking care of that, so is the uh, Kill Squad. And we've got everybody going in there with the Valkyries into that, uh, taking out some of these defenses and getting further into the core with that jump. One more heal left. Hogs are sent on the back end, um, being it, or maybe the front end, whatever you want to call it, to follow up from that Kill Squad. While the Kill Squad is tanking, they're getting some free defenses. And the Queen is still doing her thing, taking out Teslas taking out wizard towers helping out with this uh these hogs since there are no more heals left so we've got uh, we're looking pretty good here king is still full health with ability that lava lava hound in the clan castle is doing absolutely nothing to these troops fortunately staying way far away from this queen she is going to go ahead and get aggro i think pretty soon because well no you know what she gave up she's going to go ahead and start to clean up she got the memo way to go queen you got the memo get away from that lava hound and start doing cleanup up top with that wizard we're doing cleanup on the bottom again with that lava hound uh, it's going to make its way all around doing nothing it's almost like having nothing in that clan castle it's pretty cool i love going against lava hounds a lot of the time so really good start for this love that attack very very cool we're gonna watch the gatsby show here gatsby getting it done another 9.5 coming all the way up from number 34 
doing a cold blooded go vaho. I mean, just wow, very nice, just crushing it with a, a higher than mid level. I mean, 19, 2019 is definitely not a bad to royal level, but not a maxed. So we're you know getting a, a nice hit in here with a, uh, a 9.5, doing the funneling. He's got that one golem in there with the queen backing up. One jump, three heals. So this is bread and butter uh, spell composition and troop composition here. We'll drop the jump here in just a second uh, to get up to that compartment and make its way all the way to the queen. Golem is going to take a pounding, but those uh, Valkyries are sent in, and uh, we'll drop a poison down there, uh, or a jump, I'm sorry, and uh, those Valkyries will start making their way through the core. They will aggro on that queen. Poison's drop down on her to slow her down, and what a nice jump connecting all those compartments there. And we could send in the hogs now because that Lava Hound is going to do absolutely nothing until it's popped, which the queen is doing her thing to do that. And these, uh, all these defenses are focused on those Valkyries and that Golem in there. So those Hogs can go ahead and take care of these, uh, these side defenses or, or the point defenses on the edge. The Lava Hound has been popped. Queen's taking care of that. Uses her ability to just make sure she can take care of those last bit of Lava Pups. And uh, then go ahead and help out these Hogs doing a little bit of uh, cleaning up as well as possibly some defenses. Uh, has one more heal left. There we go. It has been used. And these hogs have got to make it all the way. He's got the heel up in the top and the heel in the bottom. And they just got to make their way through here. They eat a double giant bomb. So uh, no, no heal even necessary there. Wouldn't have done anything. And they just got to take care of this cannon. And they will turn their, their way on those skelly traps. And now we've got the queen helping them with cleanup. And we've got wizards punching through the walls to get to those storage compartments. Oh, all right. There we go really awesome attack watch that again uh just you know that's a, that's a great composition army composition great spell composi composition and since we like that we are going to watch his six stars here he's going to go ahead and hit the first max town hall nine on uh on them and uh, he's going to come in with basically the exact same army composition just tweaks the spells a little bit instead of three heals and two jumps we've got two jumps and two heals so basically the exact same strategy we've got another cold-blooded govajo just in case you didn't get enough of it last time i love it um, we're doing some funneling up top there with wizards and minions forcing that queen to go and back up that golem um, it drops the king in there, and uh, right now we're not even going to use wall breakers. Forget wall breakers. We're just going and doing a jump in there. It's going to have access to that king and that queen. The queen has already jumped the wall. She's jumping back, but I think she there she goes. And we've got the heal up for the Valkyries. They will beeline right for that queen. Smack her down in literally less than a second. Just craziness. And we can go ahead and send some of the hogs in there as the kill squad's tanking. We have one more heal left over as that second jump is placed uh, to go ahead and push these Valkyries through these compartments. They're just going to run around this base through that jump, uh, which is very nice. Also followed uh, behind and flanked by these hogs. So just, just really, really cool. Those Golemites are doing their thing up top tanking that uh well they're not even tanking the mortar but they're trying to take it out and we've got the queen just doing a queen walk without a heel so she's just already in cleanup mode and uh just tons of hogs making their way through that base um i don't think anything is hitting that lava hound again so guys if you get lava hounds uh, going against lava hounds in your clan castle just do this i mean th this lava hound is just completely worthless in that clan castle um so I'm waiting to see the, the the people changing it because, I mean, honestly, I've seen bases crushed so hard by putting Lava Hounds in the opposing clan castle, and it's just completely negated. That Lava Hound is full health and is doing absolutely no damage. Unfortunately, this wizard, he is going to pick a fight with it, and I think by the time he's got it, uh, we're almost done here. So, all right, so the, the hogs are still doing cleanup. The wizard, fortunately, did not pop the Lava Hound. And we're just going ahead and we're we're getting that uh, three star. So super, super attack. Love those two. Just really, really nice hits. Let's go ahead and check out number 12. Um, I will say this. Most of the attacks, I'd say probably 80% of the attacks uh, were done with Govaho. I mean, just watch Gatsby's attacks and it's, you know, the, the, that's how most of our attacks were. Uh, in this war it was just you know that's just what what people are using and it works so um but you can still mix things up which steve is going to do here with a penta 
And uh, he unfortunately triggers the clan castle here, but if he didn't trigger the clan castle, it would be even more crushed. Brings a king and Pekka, uh, along with that uh, queen, to take out the queen compartment and get that AD. So drops a jump in there, no wall breakers necessary. He smacks that queen down and starts clearing out this compartment. It's just really, really nice. It will trigger that clan castle, but uh, they're going to go ahead and make their way through the rest of this compartment, which is all they really need to do, and uh, just get rid of that air defense. They don't technically even need to get rid of that air defense since this is a penta but uh, it just makes sense I mean why not it makes it that much easier to crush the base send in two lava hounds already and a bunch of loons to follow up that hound is distracted on the P.E.K.K.A. which is gonna be just not even tickled by it and we've got a rage going in for this first air defense still have three hounds which another one has been deployed there goes the fourth one and uh, tanking through this tesla farm but he's got two um hounds to, to tank through this tesla farm so these these loons are just going to skate their way all the way in take that out and then he'll finally send the last clan castle hound which i don't even think gets taken down to half energy so unfortunately he crushes the base too heavy uh to even get you know be effective those lava pups a billion lava pups are already cleaning up the base uh they are doing some damage to that lava hound though but fortunately they don't do ton tons of damage so uh, i think they will pop it by the time it's done but even if they did pop it uh they'd be able to clean up their own stuff those lava pups would be able to handle that so right now uh, that lava hound is only going to go against the queen because that's the only uh, thing it can target and uh, we've almost got we've got a builder hut in that left corner but uh, we've got a full lava hound that hasn't been busted on our side as well so everything is just fine uh, drops of poison there those uh, friendly lava pups take care of the enemy lava pups and we're in cleanup mode here so let's go ahead and fast forward it we got it it's down it is three star really really cool attack love to see that all right number 15 go valo very cool uh, like to see the go valo on town hall nines just don't get enough of that so we're going to do uh clan castle valks here and uh, they're going to go ahead and get uh, all of the uh, air defenses except for the one that's going to be zapped quake so we've got a shattered entry coming in here got the queen behind those golems the wizards funneling and we've got three wall breakers to, to go ahead and open this compartment up so uh got to time the mortar sap quake goes down to take out that far left air defense there we go with those wall breakers which was a wall breaker fail and we got some max wall breakers in there that also fail right to the mortar but the valkyries will come in there and clean that up so we've got another um uh, uh, hound in the clan castle got a jump going down they already take out one of those air defenses got a heal to keep going uh, golems take the jump everybody takes the jump except the queen who decides she wants to walk around the base uh, which is not going to be a smart thing for her she's going to get taken out very quickly by this uh, cannon and archer tower but they've already got all those uh, air defenses out. The kill, the kill squad is taking care of them all so it's time to go ahead and back end all these loons just like you do on town hall 8 and it uh, looks like the queen did survive. I thought this one when the queen would die, but it uh, looks like she made it through. So she is uh, going to go ahead and do her cleanup. All of the defenses have been taken out except that last mortar there on the bottom. There we go. Got a huge split. Uh, everything's cleaning up right now. And uh, queen is sticking away from that uh, lava hound. Does get popped by that wizard. And uh, you know what? No big deal because we're already just about done with this raid. Tons and tons of loons and uh it's a little too late for those pups so since we like that well at least i liked it let's go ahead and look at another govalo number 19. we're going to watch a queen walk govalo this time so uh queen walks are still very viable we still do them all the time it's uh just got to start things uh pretty early and you've got to you know start the second phase of the attack without waiting too long just because of that time. We've got the wizard, in, wizard funneling up on the top and the queen's doing her thing on the bottom. We can tell that it's a queen walk because there are no wall breakers. There, there, are, there is two jumps though, so there's possibility we could uh, jump the queen if necessary. And we'll go ahead and watch this in a little bit uh, fast motion here as she does the walk. There we got the second phase on the bottom. These uh, wizards doing some funneling and we've got some wall breakers coming down and uh, we'll go ahead and break the wall before the wizard tower gets to it and uh, the valkyries start making their way in there we'll, ju we'll drop the first jump and a heal going in uh, those valkyries need to go ahead and take that jump 
get healed where here we go take out the expo take out the tesla farm and uh start doing their thing that queen is uh she had to use her ability up top she's taking out skelly traps but then she's going to continue her walk and get healed up back to full again so those uh, Valks, we've got a second jump going in here to take out uh, some of those buildings and hopefully get to that expo. And somebody needs to take out that air defense because there's one more air defense left, which is the bane of the loon's existence. We've got a full king uh, with uh, ability as well. And uh, we just need to go ahead and take that jump and make our way into the other compartments. But they're not going to do that, so it's up to the queen. Fortunately, those healers are tanking for those loons to be able to get that expo, and uh, they do not get it, but we send some more in there. The healers are still tanking. That queen needs to get her uh, get into gear, get her act together, and uh, she's just going to go ahead and completely pass over that air defense. So all the loons go down. That king is tanking the expo, uses the ability to break through that wall and finally get that expo. Once that expo is down, there's no other defense that's going to hurt them, so that air defense is completely powerless, and we are in cleanup mode. Very nice attack. Love to watch those go valos. Very neat. All right, let's jump down to some of the lower bases. Show you max bases. Show you that could be done on lower bases as well. Wanted to show that uh, one base that I was talking about. Uh, I think it's their number one as well. He has an alt account because it's exactly the same name except uh, a little bit changed. And this is a Town Hall 11, uh, or it is uh, a Town Hall 9 dressed in Town Hall 11 clothes. But um, the reason why it's so effective offensively is because, I mean, look at that. It's got 40, 26, 3 as far as royals a max on all the uh, units that need to be maxed like lava hounds golems uh dragons and um the only thing i'm sure that they're working on right now is max falcons and max uh hogs so very very offensively powerful uh thing but the problem with that is you're gonna get crushed by uh one of our town hall nines on the first hit this was a first hit attempt no expos that's a huge problem for town hall nine and look at those cannons they are level nine um a lot of these things are lower defenses so uh it makes it a lot easier even though it is a town hall 11 or at least it looks like a town hall 11 no infernos no expos which makes it a lot simpler so we're going to go ahead and uh, do a go vaho on this one as well bread and butter attack a uh, couple uh, uh we got a jump a quad quake uh, which is really cool to see a quad quake and a jump too. I usually don't see a quad quake and a jump, but we've got two heals going in. We've got a shattered entry, and we're just waiting for all this funneling to get done to make sure that when we send our Valks, they don't go running all around the base. There we go with wall breakers to get in there, Valks to get in there from the clan castle, his own Valks. And they're opening up some parts of this base, but uh, got a good portion already open from that quad quake, but we'll go ahead and make sure we can push through the rest of this base. That uh, cl uh, clan castle is fil filled with tier one um, units, so those Valkyries will just go shred them to pieces. Drops a jump up top there, so these Valkyries can take that. And uh, still has a heal left over, um, if uh, depending on what he needs for the Valks. The Valks decide they know better. They're not going to take that jump. They're going to go ahead and walk down because those skelly traps pull them that way. And uh, they're just going to go ahead and start busting through walls after these uh, specific buildings and defenses. Now they'll take the back end jump there and start making their way around. So we've got hogs uh, trailing them, and uh, they'll go ahead and eat a double giant bomb. But we still have a few more hogs left over. They get fried by that Tesla and spring trap up top, as long with along with that uh, those skelly traps. So so very very. Uh, uh, tough they're all gone and uh we're gonna go ahead and just bust our way through the rest of this base so we got the queen still up with ability so at this point uh he would be able to beat this base even just with that queen alone uh with ability one tesla is not going to go ahead and take that out but uh, she's doing her cleanup. We've got no hogs on cleanup. We've got a king on cleanup. And we've got a golem that's just taking abuse and tanking. So uh, we've got a Valkyrie as well, or three Valkyries. So really, really cool attack. Like to see that. Love to see it hitting the quote unquote Town Hall 11. All right, 28. 
Another Govalo. I have to show him because I don't really see too many Govalos at Town Hall 9. It's just something that we don't get done. This is a lower base. You can look at those uh, um, defense levels. Those air uh, air defenses are only level 6, uh, which really, honestly, in this attack doesn't make a difference because we, have, uh, we completely take them out here. So we've got two golems going in for a shattered entry. We've got Max, uh, uh, Valks, and wall, wall Breakers in the Clan Castle. Open that first compartment. We've got two jumps to push them all the way through the base to get to that queen and to get to that town hall compartment where the other air defenses are. So uh, very nice. A heal is dropped down there. Still have another heal and another jump left over. They take out all those uh, skelly traps and the queen. It is down. We just need to take out those other two air defenses. And then we've got it going on um, that queen I think she's still trying to get that lava hound and she's got to punch the wall which is actually a good thing um, but uh, she rages up we'll take it out we'll start taking those pups uh, we just got to take out that last air defense that's the last thing here and uh, that we've got a king still up with ability and we've got uh, I think a couple Valks still going so there we go that air defense is down so it's really up to everybody to start cleaning up these defenses and uh, we've got balloons coming in fighting that sweeper it's always tough but uh, their, their brethren will help them out on the bottom there we go that sweeper is gone so that uh, loon can now focus on the wizard tower and uh, we still got some loons coming up from the bottom Queen is doing her thing. We've got, look at this, very nice wizards on the bottom coming up, um, working their way from the 6 o'clock and 9 o'clock all the way around to the base. We've got these uh, loons that are making their way through this mortar and the uh, archer tower. And uh, finally take it out. They will go ahead and start cleaning up top. Just a nice split by everybody. And that is why we get the three stars here. Really, really nice attack. Two more and we are all done. Because we haven't seen dragons yet, let's check out the dragon attack. Drag go Vaho here. Two dragons which will function as suicide dragons, but spoiler alert, one of them lives through the entire raid. So that was really cool. But we've got the golem going down there. Uh, I think we have, I'm not sure if we have a... Um, shattered or cold blood so far it's cold blooded and we've got uh, you know very little tanking uh, very little defenses we've only got uh, a wizard tower cannon archer tower and a mortar hitting that uh, golem so drops the wall breakers and valks max and from the clan castle has one jump three heals and those the top valks decide you know what we're going to do our own thing we're going to start running away and uh, start doing that uh, whole valk walk slash peckle walk whatever you want to call it queen walk uh, trigger the giant bomb in that core. The uh, queen is locked on to the clan castle lava hound. But uh, we've got those suicide dragons going on the bottom. Loon was sent in uh, first to go ahead and take any traps as well as pull that queen out. As soon as that queen fired on the dragon, uh, all two, both of them came on there, knocked her out in one hit. And we've got this dragon already doing some cleanup slash taking care of the defenses. And we got the hogs going around the edge uh, to go ahead and clean up the other defenses. Still sends in uh, a bunch of hogs from the 9 o'clock position to take care of that compartment there. Queen is helping out uh, and drops that last and final heal to go ahead and take out this archer tower. Uh, lose a lot to spring traps and a couple of them to pups. But uh, we've got those hogs on the bottom taking out that uh, wizard tower. Now we're on cleanup here. Unfortunately, there are some lava pups that are doing some damage. That dragon is not going to have that. So it'll turn and uh, it's just not a smart thing for a lava pup to go ahead and attack a dragon. But everybody's converging on this town hall. Dragons, hogs, and queen so that equals a three star very very nice attack and our last one we're going to check out brando getting a three star with the queen walk go la loon three hot hounds in the clan castle so we've got the queen doing her thing on the bottom and uh i i'm not sure where we're going to go ahead and direct her it looks like we want her to go north but I think we want the queen to go ahead and take out that air defense up top where the king is. And we've got the kill squad coming in from the bottom, uh, from the uh, bottom right compartment, take care of the queen and that air uh, defense in there. So we've got a king doing in there. We've got some wizards that are working their way in there, and the golem is tanking. Fortunately, nothing's going to pop that lava hound except for that whiz. But I think that whiz is on its uh, life support with that mortar. So we, all we need to do is take down that air defense and... There we go. Drops those lava hounds really nice. It would have started tanking that, uh, you know, that other one, but it was just taken down in time. 
and uh, that lava hound, clan castle lava hound, is going to do nothing to these guys. So anyway, we've got those lava hounds tanking with the loons coming in and a uh, counterclockwise. Finally, that bottom air defense goes down to that queen, and we've only got two up. Now we've only got one up, and we've got, I think we have three hounds that are uh, tanking for this last air defense. No reason to really rush these loons in there. You want these hounds to pop. Um, you know, you, you definitely want that. We've got one last hound that's only half energy. It's not going to get popped. So that is Brando style, always over crushing a base. Tons of lava pups up. And we really need that lava hound to go ahead and tank. Uh, and unfortunately, it is a little bit behind. There still is a Tesla there and uh, a sweeper unfortunately that tesla is focused on the balloon which is not what you want you want it uh, focused on that lava hound and hopefully to pop it another balloon a balloon eats that uh, black seeking mine which you want the lava hound to eat and then finally it gets stuck on this mortar so it doesn't look like that uh, is going to pop but we've got the base pretty much all taken care of that queen is doing her thing i think we swagged at least one rage maybe two in a poison and uh that the lava hound finally pops but it's way too little way too late so guys just take a look on i've, I've already put how to handle uh lava hounds in your clan castle uh, not in your clan castle but against going against lava hounds in one of my videos but this was a great example on how you handle lava hounds without having to pop them all the time. There's always ways around it, and you're just you've taken out that that clan castle completely without even doing anything against it, uh, kind of by ignoring it. So love the war, love WHF stepping WHF two stepping it up and taking a mismatch uh, against their favor and coming out with the win. Uh, we, we're really matched up with tough, a tough one, another mismatch with this one, but I'll show that in just a little bit. So hopefully you guys are you know, enjoyed it. Get used to the composition. Get used to what the units you need to bring. Practice them. Get uh, get used to what spells you're, you, you need to bring and what you need to accomplish with it. Get those six-star clan wars and practice those three-star attacks.